Hey guys and welcome back to another stream. Today we're gonna check out a game called Infection Free Zone that is now in early access on Steam and it has a unique twist that you can fight zombies in your own hometown. Well, I don't know if it's worldwide, but um, it has a lot of locations available and it's connected to a real life map that it downloads the data from. And I played around with it a little bit and I'm actually impressed. It recognizes even some bigger buildings and for what they are. And uh, it's it's pretty cool from that aspect. So I, di I didn't play a lot. I wanted to have the first, ex excuse me, experience with you guys. So we're gonna have a look and check it out and see what it's all about. So we're gonna start a new game. And you can see the world globe here. And it actually, um, uh, shows you uh, the map of where you are. Now, I already tested Dublin and a specific area in Dublin. Um, but say, for example, um, Frankfurt, I guess. If I type this in, that's where I'm from in Germany. It says uh, where Frankfurt, Frankfurt Hahn Airport. So I would say Frankfurt Hessen. I suppose that's supposed to say Hessen. And um, this is the city of Frankfurt. And that's where I'm from. Like, not exactly here. I'm more on the outskirts of Frankfurt, but um, nonetheless, this is the actual roads, the the actual area, you know, and you can look around and select different areas in Frankfurt, um, look around the map, you know, so it's not just towns that it knows, it's pretty much anywhere. I can go at the arse here and probably do something right here if I want, yeah. Uh, it probably wouldn't be very good because you can see there's not a lot of buildings, if you go into the city center of things, you probably have way too many zombies. I don't know. I have no idea. They call them infected. Maybe it's not zombies. I'm not sure. I, t I thought they were zombies. So, but in my case, um, I picked already Dublin, for example. In fact, Frankfurt, exactly. And uh, this is actually the city center pretty much here. Like, so this is the river, uh, um, the Liffey, and um, then we have uh, north and south of the Liffey. And I'm going to go on the, north, on the south side because I know that area kind of slightly a little bit better. Um, I worked kind of all over the place in the city, but this is where everything is happening in Dublin. Like, so the, the Crafton Street, well, the nightlife is over here somewhere, but uh, or, or over the water, you know, in Temple Bar. But if you go here, like you have the park here, Stephen's Green Park, um, there's a Lewis stop here, which is like a tram. And here's Crafton Street, which is basically our shopping street. We have all the shops here. There's more shopping streets up there, but this is the one that I would be used to more. And down here, you have a couple of bookstores and, um, you know, the other streets, everything is there. You have a hotel over here. There's a, a big shopping center here, which I really like the idea of as well. That's where you would go in the zombie infestation, I guess. You have a little um, university here. You have Trinity College right over here, a huge area, which is a huge university college. So, um, you know, I know kind of this area, which is quite handy. If you know the layout of the city, I don't know if it does you any favors because I'm assuming it doesn't really matter where you are. Some things may cause you more problems than others. I believe people who live near the ocean had a lot of problems because water just exists anywhere on the map. So I'm sure there's got some uh, bugs they're going to have to work out. So that's why I didn't go anywhere near the, the water because I read that there's some issues with water. But um, yeah, so this is the area that I uh, selected. This is... Uh, this uh, used to be a densely populated area. The difficulty might be very high. Yeah, sure. It doesn't matter. We're gonna set it to easy in that sense anyway. We're gonna have tutorial events on, um, which is good, so it teaches you the basics of the game. Um, you can see here that the more people you have in your group, the easier the game gets, but we're gonna start with medium here. I like a lot of resources, so we're gonna start with a lot of resources and um, horde numbers we leave, leave on default. So if I would up that here and put the horde numbers down, it would be very easy. But let's leave it on kind of just easy difficulty with resources so that we get to learn the game. And it probably will be still too hard for me. So um, let's start. Uh, you can perform partial adaptations by pressing and dragging the left mouse button on a building after choosing a building type. Yeah, all that stuff is all very unknown to me. 
So, but there is a strategy to it. So uh, you will see in a second. Um, it actually looks like it's pretty well thought out. But it's early access, so I'm expecting a lot of balancing issues, you know, but... The world as we know it is gone. What we called the mad virus appeared out of nowhere. It made people turn extremely violent, aggressive, and unrestrainable. Soon later, the infected became bloodthirsty, more like vampires than human. There was chaos, panic, and war for survival. Desperate people were just as dangerous as the virus itself. Even our loved ones could become a threat. The infection spread quickly throughout the entire globe. Every region, every country, every city. Drastic measures were taken to get rid of the infected, but they all failed. The last chance for those who seemed immune was to hide in underground shelters. Ones that we improvised in garages and basements. Loaded with food, water and air filtration systems. These were the places where we survived, sealed from the outside. For so long, we waited for any signal, any info that a cure had been found, and the situation stabilized. Instead, we listened as the world grew quiet. Our resources were becoming depleted. Life support systems were failing. And just as we were losing all hope, we received a distant call. This was the impulse we needed. There were others out there. It's Fallout Vault 33. No more hiding. I, I just watched the first episode of the Fallout the TV series. The old world. We will build our new home. So, um, welcome to the stream. Let me get through uh, that part first. I hope you guys are doing all right. Uh, Jen, welcome to the stream, Joanne. Um, Kona, I hope you're doing well. Um, I'm doing fine myself. Thank you for asking. Hello, this is game available now. Yes, it's now right now in early access on Steam. Um, hey, Shaw, how are you? I hope you're doing well. Uh, Michelle, greetings to you. Uh, hey, Cakes, I've been watching this game all day. Well, then you might be able to give us a lot of helps and tips. Sorry, it's moving over because I have my mouse off the screen and it's just moving over. Give me a second. Um, um, Crash Weasel, how are you? Ethereal, how are you doing? Uh, good evening to you as well. Uh, good afternoon to Jalives um, and HD. Sorry if I have to have um, subscriber chat on. Um, we had a couple of funny people trying to be amusing and we had it open for everybody. So um, I had to leave it on uh, subscriber chat for now. Arzamain, how are you doing? And H2O, does it load your own neighborhood? Basically it does. So I show you now. So I don't live here in town, but I know a kind of town. So if we um, let me go, where's the park? here steven screen so it even says it so you see san steven screen park there's a couple of, i didn't even know there was a couple of buildings i walked through this park probably many a times during my lunch time um you know um how do i move the map or oh, just was the map okay here um many a times when i worked over here somewhere or you know i worked over here i worked in mil multiple different places like you know the same job but different clients you know and uh, this here is the um san steven screen um shopping center so this one here, very good. It says restaurant on the side. This I like. This is actually the, um, I think it's uh, the science something, uh, medical science university or something. And uh, it actually says university, which is pretty amazing. Um, there's some shops here, a lot of coffee shops and um, art shops, stuff like that here, grocery store. Now, if this is actually a grocery store or just a shop that I don't know, like I don't remember, like right here between the park, actually, you have rail lines, which is from a tram. So there's actually a tram station here in real life. Um, they obviously didn't adapt that because that wouldn't show up on a map. This here is the main shopping street where I live. Sorry, like Dublin, I don't live there anymore in town, but um, in town so Crafton Street goes all the way down and this is the shopping street so all the way up here you have small little shops like you know we buy ice cream or whatever or go in and out a couple of clothes stores um, a coffee shop things like that you have all the different type of shops there's this is basically the center of the south side of the city 
and um, then you have more grocery stores and bookshops here so it says restaurants there isn't actually that many restaurants and grocery stores so what i'm thinking is that it just has a a, a, a a broad feeling of what these buildings are unless they're really really big buildings like this which is very because these would be on the map on the actual google map you would see that is actually uh, has its own marker yeah meanwhile a lot of these buildings wouldn't have their own marker yeah so it just kind of assumes that that is the thing there's actually the bank here the arb bank that's that's i don't think that's wrong i think it's actually correct so um marks and spencers like holy crap it actually this is crazy like it actually has the shop i, th I think the shop is actually right there um that is pretty crazy so um i thought it would be good this area simply because there's a big shopping center and i thought we can start there but we can't actually because if you click on this well you could but it says this building will be extremely large and very hard to defend in the first days we recommend choosing a smaller building it, it still would let you choose it so what i was thinking is you know maybe move into one of the buildings here and start taking over these kind of areas i think even these buildings i want to be very big you know but if we have a corner building there's not many ways to get in or out of it so we could start on one of those and then i don't know if you can move headquarters you could potentially uh, utilize this for storage because this seems to have a lot of storage for example yeah now one thing i'm slightly worried about is i was reading on the forums um uh, about the game that you should try to get your guns and everything from certain buildings there is no gun stores in dublin <laughs> so i hope they're gonna randomly assign some of these buildings to be gun stores because i have no idea how i'm gonna get guns and ammunition if you live in a country where that is not a thing, if you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, so in this case, uh, it loads you the neighborhood that you're in. And it seems to be pretty accurate. There's another hotel down here somewhere on this side. Um, saddle room, that's like a coffee shop or something. I think this is actually where there's a hotel, if I'm not mistaken, or further down the road, maybe. And then the big, big thing in the back here is Trinity College. So this is basically... This whole area here is one big college area. You know, it's the dorms here and you have a gym over here, actually. And this is um, the big college square. So there's actually a lot um, authentic kind of things being pulled in, which is really awesome. Okay, so, but for us, um, having an issue with this map? No, 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 not at all. Um, so let's start with something that we probably can handle. Um, Sure, let's go into that corner building here and see how we get on. Yes, let's go. So let's pause the game. So the way this game works is, Operator, this is first squad. there's transmissions. Let it play. So, Kona, how are you? Uh, thank you so much. Uh, wouldn't be the park a good place to start? I don't know if planting is a thing there. I know there is gathering. You can either gather wood, metal, or other things. But I'm not sure exactly yet how all this works. Um, I only played for about 10, 15 minutes uh, to get a basic feeling for it. And I liked it, what I saw. And I was like, yeah, we're going to stream that. And we're going to figure it out. <laughs> Sorry, we need your answer. We need your answer. So because I'm playing with tutorials on, there will be quite a few transmissions which pop up to get you into the direction of what you should be doing. Yeah. So, um, but we can pause the game. You can see here. Actually, let me move my face hole a little bit down. Let me just enable the webcam. So let's do that and uh, move it down a bit. Yeah, so it's moved over. There we go. So that way you can actually see as well what we have up there. So we have like some stats here. Let me just go over here. And um, <laughs> Chief, do you copy? So we need your answer. Are you still on the line? No, I'm ignoring you, Dalton, because you 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 looked at my wife funny. Anyway, so we start off in this building and we have one squad and. Um, yeah, I don't think there's a police station actually up here. I don't remember one. I think the police station is actually somewhere across the, the Liffey over here, across, across the river. Um, way over here somewhere, I think. Um, I, I don't remember a police station actually here. 
I could be wrong though. I just don't. I wouldn't have looked for police stations that often anyway. Okay, so let's say uh, look look for food. So we we say yes. Let's uh, um, look for food. Okay, find something to eat as fast as possible. Okay, my face will be over this a lot, I think. So um, maybe we should be moving it even further down. Let me see. Because there's a lot of interesting information you see. Sorry, it's moving. The stupid camera is moving because um, I have my mouse on the other monitor and it's automatic movement. <laughs> I wonder if you could turn that off. You probably can. Um, and only move with your... Oh, no, actually, I can't move with the with the WASD. So it is only the mouse. Okay. Anyway. Um, I got to get it going. I have to make dinner. Kona, thank you so much for popping in. Enjoy dinner. Um, you can um, or have a lookout on top of an oil building. The round one close by the top ma makes for a good viewpoint. Um, yeah, again, I don't know exactly all the features. I know you can build towers with defenses and all that, you know, for people to have long range weapons, you know, to shoot at hordes and stuff like that. But let's start. So turn on scavenging a few. So we press V. And that turns on um, all these icons here. So you can see what's there. Most of them will be food because all these places are pretty much shops here. Now I can see nowhere a weapon store, which makes me think that I'm screwed. <laughs> Unless the game intentionally puts some areas in for weapons and fuel or something because it would not find a gun store in Dublin, I tell you that much. It wouldn't do that. There would be no gun store. Now there's a lot here in the shopping center, but yeah, we'll see how that plays out. Maybe we can craft guns or something. So um, select a squad. So we have our squads over here. And um, right now, I think we have 40 people. And I assume there's four people. Yeah, four people in the squad. So it seems that we have um, 40 citizens. Yeah, oh, my face is always over something. I, I don't like this at all right now. Um, we might just turn my face off, guys. It's, it's just because this will be continuously in the way of something. Otherwise, stop moving. No, you just you just have to move, don't you? Yeah, of course you do. Um, it's a very hard place to put your face in these games. Um, we might have just have to turn it off, like I said. Um, so here you can see all your citizens. You're unemployed 36 citizens, yeah? So they can do grunt work, I guess, scavenging, whatever. And then we have four members in the squad. Um, we're going to create a new squad now in a minute. I'm just going with the flow of what the game wants us to do. Then down here we have give the, the ability to give orders to citizens. So we can say, hey, we want to gather wood, um, which we need in the beginning anyway. Um, I don't know where we can see how many... There we go. We have currently... Um, no grain, no food rations. We have canned food and that's it. We have some ammunition. We actually have some basic guns. Squad, squad members are equipped. That's really good. Okay. So we look at here, all our guys are equipped with guns. Fair enough. Very good. And now I have the squad selected. And now I have to tell it to go to a building to find some stuff, to find some food or anything. Now I don't think... Oh, we can actually turn them up as well. I didn't realize that. That's really good. So... Let's head over right into the building here beside us. Let's do it. And start clearing that out, I guess. So as soon as we start then, unpause the game. And we can see that we're now scavenging. That's what the squad is doing. Building Find clear. some cans and they're gonna be back. So we have an incoming transmission now to Sir, get us the to the next part the of the game. We have to think what to scavenge first. It will be best to check some shops or warehouses. Yeah, I live in Dublin, like not in the city center, but I would have been a lot in the city center, like, you know, going out for drinks, partying, working, whatever. And it's only obviously after we had the kids that we moved away from the city and all that. You know, so we, we, we don't live near the city anymore. Um, it takes us only about 
15, 20 minutes to get into the city, to be honest. Like, so we live close enough, but um, far enough away that we have a nice, quiet uh, area, you know. Um, okay, okay I will point, point you where, where to go. go. Okay, you point me where to go. Chief, I will speak on behalf of the other citizens. Okay. Let us go and adapt the buildings to suitable shelters, so we won't spend a single more night underground. Okay, it sounds sounds like a plan. Yes, that sounds like a good idea. So, let's pause. So this building here, I already searched. So I can right click. Let's do it. Oh, no, 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 no. On my way. So we can click on this building, and then we have some options. We can adapt the building. Or we can deconstruct it. Deconstructing it would give us those type of resources, I guess. Yeah. Um, right now, do we have actually any... I don't know. Where do I see how much wood I have? Main HQ centering. Very good. I don't see... Oh, there. We have 55 wood. Uh, 12 steel or iron. Um, whatever. Raw metal and no bricks and no basic tools so in this case i would say sure adapt the building i don't know how many resources that will take it says 55 here but right now we can see we're converting this into a shelter it costs 800 wood so that means we also want to go out for wood i guess so i mean this is all the trees here that's it's near the park so i would say Let's uh, start right here and here. There we go. Very nice. So I'm assuming some citizens will go out scavenging now. Very nice. And others will start adopting the building, hopefully. Oh, look at that. It actually says 18 out of 40 are working or doing something. And this here. Can I do that still? Shelter. Okay, very good. All right, so what we can do then with our squad is uh, we can take our squad. How do I select my squad? Just here. Okay, I can only select, select it through here. Um, select the squad, and now let's go over here. There seems to be some medicine in this building and some food. So let's have a look. And we can see here the time. It is now 11... 20 so that's the time and nighttime is going to be basically where you will get hordes potential attacks things like that okay we have a transmission chief we found some medical supplies they'll definitely come in handy now we'll be able Clear. to give first aid to the wounded but if we want to heal people more efficiently we'll need to build a med bay okay med bay sounds like a good idea we'll think of that yeah, let me pause again because I don't want to waste too much time on things. Um, right now, we only have one squad. The game is going to ask us now in a second to do another squad. But uh, let's keep looting um, buildings. Receiving. Let's do it. We might as well make, make a good choice here during the day to keep looting, gathering wood. Do we actually get more wood? It still says 55. Do, are the guys not getting any wood for us? Very slow chopping trees. There's nothing left. Okay, go on to the next go building. Oh, why does it go behind? Yeah. Roger. Oh shit. Chief, there are signs of smoke. It's coming out of a building. I think there might be some people there. Okay. So I recommend we go and investigate. Clear. Okay, investigate. Let's investigate. Going there. another squad before we investigate we can't be sure who we're gonna find there okay all right okay. so let's do this the way this works is you create a new squad Receive and it, it basically takes four people from the free source i guess and creates another squad so we have squad two now and we have squad Receive one it. they all have guns which is great so we don't have to worry about anything um they all should be okay now the squad two we can rename them if we want. That's actually a cool feature. I didn't see that. The main task of the squad is to scavenge buildings and fight the infected. To order squads to move or attack, press the right mouse button on the desired object. 
Okay, so let's take those guys and try sending them towards the smoke. I'm not sure if they're going to get there on time. Roger. Because I think it's nighttime now. Yeah, it's three o'clock. They're not going to get very far. Uh, we'll see. So, squad one in the meantime, um, come back home, drop off what you got. And then, um, let's go to the next building. There's a question mark here. Oh, look at the guys, they're bringing back wood. Clear. They have 55 wood. How much do we get per person? 56, 57. Oh, we only get one piece of wood per person. Oh, okay. But we need 800 wood to adapt the building. Holy crap. Um, how's our second squad doing? Oh, they're actually here. Very good. Chief, we found some survivors. They've been living in terrible conditions for the last few years. Could bring them in, but will we be able to feed them? Uh, I don't know. I have no idea. What is my current situation on food in, food out? I don't know. I get that it's important, but I'm actually not sure. I'm assuming we have, if we have 40 people, hmm, how much food do we have in the moment? 25 here, but how many, how many cans do we have? Oh, it doesn't show us. I have to click on this. Fine, except the survivors. Bring doesn't matter. In. Oh, there's a car? Just found a car that looks drivable. Let's try to make it run again. Okay, that actually sounds like a plan. I have this squad selected here, Receiving. so... Let's head over to the car. So at night time, it's very dangerous for people to be walking around, naturally. So if you have a car, though, you're much faster than the zombies. Um, so you can actually get away. But then you have to worry about fuel, things like that. Also, there's a lot of question marks here. So there might be some gun shops here. Who knows? Yes, okay. I'm on my way okay. to get the car. Try it. Sir, the sun is getting low. We don't know what's going to happen during the night. We can continue our scavenging operations in the dark, but that will be way more dangerous than waiting until... Yeah, okay. Um, continue, though. Carry on. We need those resources. Sir, it is too dangerous for unarmed civilians to work after nightfall. That makes sense. Everyone will return home. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Let's be safe. Receiving. So the civilians don't have to work at night, which is fine. But our guys here, Receiving. I mean... We're just here around the corner, so it should be okay to keep scavenging at night. And how's our other guys doing? Okay, they're going to the car. There's nothing left. How are these guys doing? Sir, we just saw a group of infected. They might not be aware of our presence again. 50 D Cooper, how are you? Um, okay, get ready. Get ready to fight. Well, I hope they're not attacking us, um, and they're just roaming around, which is fine. Operator. Yeah, you Go guys search there. the next building, okay? What about you guys? Okay, I can't select them. They're kind of doing their own thing, I guess. Where's my other squad? Ready for action. Reporting. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, ooh, get to, get to the car quick. I better, better be some there fuel some in it. Around here. Oh, shit. Come on. Ready for the ride. Okay, let's drive. Um, so much. This will 
help speed up our scavenging. And we can run over the infected if they get too close. <laughs> well, we're gonna see. We'll get them. We're under attack! Can we can we run them over? We're on the move. No. Roger. Hostiles inbound. Nice, we shoot them through the car. Okay. So they don't drop loot, so we might not want to waste our ammunition. Oh shit, there's loads. Let's do it. Let's go back to HQ. On my way. Roger. How much fuel do we have? Vehicle condition and fuel. Okay. We're now at Steven Screen Park. Infected incoming. They're over there, so oof, okay. You go back to the building as well. Reporting. It seems that these guys are actually leaving us alone for the moment, so... Receiving. Roger. Receiving. Roger. Ah, uh, they're fine. They're fine enough away. The grunt. Let them do, let, do. You guys do your scavenging. Clear. Another one incoming. Okay, they're all over here. So. Okay, there's someone coming from down the road. Receiving. Ready for action. On my way. Did they get all the food here? Why does it? Oh, this this is another bit. Oh shit, that is a big group. Oh, they actually shoot from the building. Nice. Okay, that actually was good. So we have um, are these guys injured or anything? HP 100. Okay. Roger. It's this building here. Let's do it. Reporting. This is a big boy building. Let's actually check this out. Oh shit! The survivors are slashing! Nice! Oh, this is gonna take forever to scavenge. But we're nearly full, so once we're full, we can bring the stuff home. Receiving. Roger. Do they actually drop off the food? So we have some odd. Yeah! They're not dropping off the food. Why not? Receiving. On my way. Infected Do we coming. have no room left? Let me see. Oh, our storage is full. Crap. Um. Can we convert these to storage? Oh, that's how it works. Okay. Boss, we're running out of space for resources. We have to build a warehouse. Yeah. Okay. And I... This is actually pretty quick, so I think what we should do is... Uh, we should also... Let's build it. Okay. We'll build one. We should also convert this one into a warehouse. This night was easy. There are sure to be some infected around here. We should build some defenses before the next nightfall. Let's build a watch out. Jesus, there's Agreed. so much to do. Okay. Let's build a wooden tower. Um, 
a wooden tower would make sense here. Towers. A uh, wooden tower. Oh! Oh! That is awesome! Oh, I like the way you can see actually what it can reach. That is so cool. So, let's build one right here so the front door is protected. That is awesome. Rotate Z and X. Yeah, let's build it right here. 10 wood. That is so cool. Oh, they found a gun. So we do find guns, which is good. Um, happy Friday, um, Cakes. This looks interesting. Yes, uh, Josh Toon. So again, I'm only learning this game, so there's probably a lot of downtime where I should be doing something that I'm not utilizing properly. Um, we also have to... Um, we have to adapt this building as well. But we have to adapt that into um, a warehouse too. There we go. So this one is nearly done, and this one here will be converted into warehouse now as well, slowly. And these guys are working on the tower. Very good. Yeah, they're not... Pr okay, this is now terrible because these guys... So it seems that we told basically our guys to get wood. But because the warehouse is full, they just stand there. What they probably should be doing is drop the wood and prioritize building our warehouse instead. So I wonder, is there a way of us being able to tell them to do exactly that? So we have 10 scavengers. Oh, we can reduce the number of scavengers. But there's no priority list here. So it's not like RimWorld where you can basically say, listen, I want you guys to prioritize this over this. And the tool tip being right over what this is is not really good either. But um, let's see. Yeah, there seems to be no way to tell those guys um, to drop what they're doing. Oh, okay, they're, they're delivering. Okay, there's some room now. But once this is full, they just stand there, I think. Yeah, you see these guys bring the wood back. These guys are getting more wood because that's what I told them to do. But what are these guys doing now? They just stand there. So, yeah, that's not good. Um, that's something they're definitely going to have to look at. Because you should never never have idle people, ever. So, does our storage grow as combined storage? Or do I have to drop things off between storages? Oh, excellent. We get a combined storage. That is awesome. Okay. So that way we don't have to worry about anything. Roger. Area cleared. On my way. So let's bring back those guys. We now have five extra people, so I think we should create an, uh, an another squad. Receiving. Yeah, they have Mela in that, so let's make sure these are the scavengers. Because I don't think scavengers need fully gunned. Um, we want people fully gunned out that are horde fighters. Receiving. Waiting orders. Waiting orders. So you guys can go over... Oh, Roger. shit. Yeah, Roger. Don't go all the way back there. Let's start clearing out some of these buildings. And... Pistol, primary fire. No more to find. Assign maximum number of workers. So, do these guys have actually people in it now? Adaptation done. Oh, primary fire. I'm mean to give it a pistol. How do we do that? How do we give the guy a pistol? So, 
If we only have one pestle, then we should only have one worker. Okay, maybe if we search this place here more, because there was ammunition here and probably pistols. Operator, roger. Reporting. Task. Let's bring the stuff back. Okay, so prioritization is gonna be a nightmare for me because I'm so indecisive. To all survivors, the infections in decline. Um, shelters, I don't know what that means. Include. Infections decline. Switch channel. Chief, this is the same transmission we received before, but the signal is even weaker. Our walkie-talkies are not powerful enough for long-range communication. We have to build a large antenna. A local library or university would be a good hey, place Doma, how to search you? for information on how to make it work. Yeah, there's books in here, so... Okay, there's books in here as well, so we should send some people over. These guys are full. Okay, we have still loads of storage, so let's Ready send our action. scarves over there. We're on the move. Yeah, now the tower is, is okay because uh, we have one gun and one worker. If we go with two workers, the second one doesn't have a gun. Okay, it's getting nighttime now. Oh shit. Ready for action. Stay in the building, stay in the building, get in, hide. Oh shit! No! They're gonna kill everybody! Oh, two are down! You guys doing well, we only lost two players. So can we fi refill the squad? It's almost time for are you there? Yes, get ready. Okay. Get ready to defend the zone. Waiting orders. Oh, they're injured. We yeah, we need to add people to it. Take him down. Oh shit, what's happening here? Okay. Holy crap, man. They're all injured. Do they heal up and then my base? Let me see. What? What? Why? This is not fair. This is not nice. Oh, these guys are dead. They're dead. Yeah. Goodbye. It was nice knowing you. We're under attack. We can't get away. No. I'm sorry. Oh, and my guns. And my... I don't sound like Nicolas Cage, do I? No, I don't. I don't have the crazy eyes. Infected incoming. Okay, this is not gonna work. The infected are pillaging a building. The door won't hold much longer. Well, we have two people. We have eight people with guns here, so they should take care of this. Ready for action. We're on the move. We're on the move. Infected incoming. Yeah, we don't have guns. Port spotted. Oh, this is terrible. We need a third squad again. We're running out of ammo. Okay, get in the car. Let's do it. Going there. Another one incoming. Ah. Stupid. Hostiles inbound. We can't do anything. Yeah. Okay, let's create another Infected squad. Incoming. They're all melee though. Um, yeah, we have to send them out as soon as morning comes. Oh man.
You're the new scavs. Infected incoming. Infected incoming. Come on, we need daytime. We're nearly there. Infected incoming. So five o'clock. Well, they should be fine now. So let's take the car. Let's do it. Roger. So hopefully that will be good, and we can get our guns back. And uh, you guys, Receiving. you heal up. Receiving. You guys go let's over here. It. Wow, this is crazy. Chief, many of our workers don't have any jobs. Send them to gather resources. To oh my character, to yeah. Some of the I thought you meant me. Uh, Chief, many of our workers don't have any jobs. Uh, okay. We're gonna see. Okay, so let me think. In this case, we, we have a few people left, so we could... Sure, ask them to gather wood, which is something we need a lot of, so... Um, there you go. And we also could convert um, one of the buildings to shelter. There you go. That's great. It's actually pretty quick, which is nice. Oh, we found something. Reporting. Medicine, good. We're bringing all that home. We're full. Waiting orders. Let's do it. Roger. In this building here, we need to repair that. I think we have all that, except correct. We don't have correct. We need a workspace where we can experiment and re-engineer all the pre-pandemic technology. Oh, we could Christ. store all the books there, too. Let's build a research center and assign the most technical minds there. The most technical minds we just about survive. What are you talking about? Okay, let's do this. Fine. Um, a research center, that's what you want? Oh, look at this. We can even build things like barbed wire and fences and palisades. Oh my god, I didn't even know that. That is crazy. So if we click wooden palisades, we can... Oh my god, we can block this whole area off. And then put a tower behind it. So we could block this area off right by the tower i didn't even know that that is amazing so we can put a wooden gate here which costs 30 wood though that's all our wood nearly research center So we can make one of the buildings a research center. So I guess convert this one to a research center. And where's our scarves? Reporting. Scarves. Get to the car. Operator. Roger. And then go back here. And On loot. My way. Yeah, they got two guns now, which is great. Excellent, they're scavenging. You guys are full. You can come back. Infected incoming. Okay, there's some infected over there, but that's okay. So yeah, I wonder if um, wood-wise we do get a lot of wood. It would be probably prudent then to put a like kind of a palisade here to to lock this off, or at least lock this off i mean that would make sense no um are you the leader or is she <laughs> it seems like it takes a bit of time to uh, to figure out how to play in the very beginning building stores scavenge building mats exactly yeah so uh, that's why i pause the game every now and then to have a good look around 
Oh, we have actually layers as well. So I can look at, let me see. Oh, okay. And then that is the V button. And then we have B. Oh, it shows the, it hides the UI. Okay. So B hides the UI and V hides these icons. Okay. I think you guys are full. No, you still have room for one more. Okay, come on. You're nearly done. Receiving. These guys are healed up. Very good. Let's, Let's do go it. here. And you guys are healed up. Perfect. Roger. No, there are some infected around here. here. I think we're gonna need more storage again. Actually, no, we're okay for storage right now. Okay, these guys are done. Well, the car can carry more resources, so we could start looting a um, shopping mall actually here beside us. Steven Screen Shopping Center. There should be definitely some useful stuff in there. I wonder if I can change one of those guys to not have a gun, but instead to use a melee weapon. So that we can basically assign all the guns here to that. How are we getting on? We nearly finished with... Um, excellent. With the... Um, living quarters so I'm guessing we should have enough living quarters to cover um, everything for the 41 people we have so when this is finished okay this is kind of stuck in the moment and these guys are full let's do it Is there nothing left in this building? Oh, there are different buildings behind it. Okay. On my way. Work done. Head back to your shelter. Waiting orders. On my way. Might as well send them all in there. It's a big building. Reporting. Ready for action. Waiting orders. Receiving. Reporting. <laughs> the moon seems so close to the earth tonight, reflecting the sunlight. The sky is perfectly clear. It's almost as bright as the day. There should be no infected on the street tonight. Oh, wow. That's awesome. So they're more like, more like vampires and zombies. Oh, look at this. That is That's good, good for us. We yeah. Use a quiet night. It's awesome. We saved the game. Um. Oh, it's doing a lot of save files. Uh. Okay. Um, Joseph, thank you so much for gifting a membership. Um, and uh, Origin Viper. Origin Viper, how are you? I hope you're doing well. Popping in for a quick membership. Thank you so much. So let me see. These guys are full. So let's drop loot back. These guys are full. Drop it back. And these guys are full. So we have some fuel now, which is great. Now let me see if I can actually drop the gun on some of them. Um... Yes, excellent. Actually, can I put one gun there? So, if I go here now, how can I put more guns in there? Because I should have some spare guns now, yeah. Oh, 
why is this not working? Uh, average range and low rate, so why does it say one gun? I want to... These ones now. These ones here are um, horde. Ready for action. Okay, let me think. Why is nobody building? We are not out of wood, so why is nobody building? Oh, the cars in the way, maybe. Waiting orders. Going there. Let's do it. On the move. Yeah. Exit the car. Um, Let's do it. No. I don't know why these guys are not continue building. Oh, they don't work at night. But I thought the full moon was making it like daytime. Mm, very strange. Oh, do we not have enough? We have enough um, raw metal, yeah. And again, these guys, there should be more guns here. I'm not sure how we can reload this. Wooden tower. Yeah, we figured it out. If only FunPimps had thought of this Google Earth option for seven days to die, that would have been amazing. Can you imagine fully 3D going through all the buildings? That would be insane. But with the performance they, they have, I, w I would think they would absolutely kill the performance. Okay, um, I think our scavengers Operator. can actually continue going through buildings. On my um, way. Waiting orders. Roger. Operator. Let's do it. There's nothing left. Oh, there's an overview map? Oh, that's where it zooms all the way out and then back in, is it? Okay. Doesn't zoom automatically back in, okay. So, but when you press M, it zooms out and shows you the overall map, which will get very handy when you get very big, I guess. Um, and press and so if you go like this and then press this it will reset it to north okay that makes sense trying to get the ui get to know the ui a little as well okay reporting uh, you guys are not full but you seem to be finished scavenging We're on the move. what about this building here nice We're on the move. let's go let's see what's in there Daytime now. Operator. These guys are full. Let's bring it home. And these Operator. guys are full. Bring them home. Ready for action. Okay, scarf, you go here. Ah, oh, no. Going there. Going there. Okay, I don't like that we have to go all the way around the back. Ready. So if that means we have to go all the way around the back, what we should probably do is demolish one of the buildings, so that way we can access this area behind quite easily. Um, yeah, this is the Steven Screen uh, shopping clear. center here, and this is Steven Screen, and down here, this is Grafton Street going all the way down to Trinity College. And you have the, the tram going this way around here, and then over here. Oh, we have two guns now. Excellent. So this is repaired. They have two guns now. Brilliant. That's exactly what I was looking for, that they finally get their guns. Um, let me see. Operator. Roger. We're there on we the move. Oh, we found food. Actually, grain. Chief, we found some seeds in one of the buildings. It looks like grain. 
There are some farming tools as well. Adaptation Maybe done. we could use this to start cultivating the land again. That actually would be awesome if we could start a farm. Okay, bring that in. We should have a place where we can cook meals for our citizens. Yeah. This will make our people much happier too. Mm. Okay, let's build a cookhouse. Build fields and build a cookhouse. Wow, okay. So we're going to need some metal too. Car wreckages can be a good source. Or we can deconstruct some buildings. Send workers to do that. Makes sense. Let's I wanted to deconstruct this building anyway. Um Gives people something to do, I guess. Clear. Waiting orders. Waiting orders. Um, We're on the move. Ready let's for get some of that goody good stuff. And our storage is doing well, so I don't think we need any more storage buildings right now. We're on the move. I don't like that my citizens have to go all the way around, but they won't have to do that for much longer. Once this building is gone, um, we can go straight through here. Okay, you guys are full. Let's do it. Waiting orders. You guys are full. Roger, receiving. And you guys are full. We're on the move. You guys are getting more wood. How are we doing on wood? Excellent. We're keeping up actually. We keep on top of wood. That's really good. Okay, and back here. Roger, reporting. And you go here, let the other guys go there, and you go here. Get some more books and stuff, whatever we can get from this place. If this one, this place here is a good place to convert for storage or whatever, because it's a nice big shopping center. So this, this would make huge storage. Um, oh, the research center is done. Research basic antenna te te technology. Okay. Let me see. Various data samples and prototypes. Scientific books or documents need to research new technology. Okay, so we have to fill this up, I guess, first with books that we deliver into our storage. So currently we have... Um, okay, we don't have any books here because they get put into this place. So this place here fills up. Oh, estimated research, nine hour. Okay, scientific materials. Fair enough. So this is actually um, research basic antenna. How do we change research? Ah, here. There we go. Basic antenna. Um, start research. Yeah. Okay. Good. Beautiful. And it takes. We have. We have six books, or takes six books. I have no idea. So, five hours. I'm assuming that's in-game hours. Yeah, it's pretty quick. That's good. Um, I rented an apartment pretty much uh, over Bodoc's famous chippy. <laughs> hey, Kicks, hey, Chad, Tommy, how are you? Kenneth Olsen. Now, this is... Uh, th is this... Uh, hey, now, is this game? Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a game right now. <laughs> you can get it in early access on Steam. Yeah, it's a different type of game. So, I usually don't play these type of games as much. Um strategy games um, I like them but I usually suck at them as soon as things get confusing and overwhelming they get very quickly overwhelming for me like this guy here could have gone home already and um, there we go um, but I forget about people like these guys here yeah they could have gone home already and let's do it let's go back in here but there's no point moving out further. So right now, I think scavenging everything near near us is more important. And the good thing is once this building is gone here, we can get very easily into all these buildings here as well. Um, Temple Bar actually is up here. Yeah, so if you get past the Liffey here, um, let me see, this is Connell Street. So Temple Bar actually is kind of down here. This is all Temple Bar, I think, isn't it? Um, Riders Row, um, Armand Key, Bachelor's Walk. Yeah, so I think, yeah, I think this is here all Temple Bar. I 
think. And this is a big hotel here as well. Oh, I, I I like the game so far. Like again, it's not you. It's not the. It's a different type of game. So from a genre, it's usually not the type of games that I play on stream. But I actually really wanted to try this just for the gimmick as well, uh, seeing that this is actually Dublin City. Um, okay, I'm just not very good at organizing my guys, to be honest. There. So this is early access. Yeah. So one of the things, unless that happens later, I already can see is I would like them to automatically return from scavenging. I don't want, like, when they're full, they just sit in the building and do nothing. And I think that is really silly. They should immediately return to your base. Or at least you should have an option to say, yeah, return when you're full. Yeah, just keep returning. Keep returning and then go back to the building. Keep walking to and fro unless I tell you any different. Yeah, until, until that building is gone. And then stay here and tell me, hey, we have nothing to do. Yeah, uh, the same for the civilians that ch chip wood they just sit there and do nothing so when i was full on storage early on the people i assigned i i you can't assign people to chipping wood you can just say i want you to gather wood in this area so the civilians that are automatically assigned to gather wood they just stand there with wood in their hand the ones that have wood in their hand go well i don't know what to do with it i'm just going to stand here yeah what they should be doing is drop it on the ground and start working and helping out working on other things or go home yeah because um you're just sitting out there ready to be eaten by something that walks past at the middle of the night so they, i think that that system seeing that unlike rimworld you don't have the micromanagement aspect you can't tell your citizens priorities they need something like either to give our citizens priorities or they need to be smarter about making sure that people who don't work or can't work do something else yeah so that that's the one thing i noticed so far um that i i, I think is going to cause problems later if you have like a huge chunk marked for for removal of uh, you know wood Yeah, so you, you need a little bit of micromanagement, I think. Yeah, unless they implement something very basic, at least, where they're saying, yeah, okay, if citizens can't do their job, let's see what other job they can do, yeah, if they're blocked, you know. And um, they also don't work at night, which makes sense, because civilians shouldn't put their lives in danger. That's why you have squads for. Um, so let's actually see if we can send them out. Operator. Yeah, and we can send the other one across the street. The there we go. Because there's a few more things left here. There's also some unknown resources still left here. Ready for action. Hostiles inbound. Yeah, we're gonna stay at home now, waiting for them to come. And we look at this, the, wa the watchtower. Bam, bam, bam. Nice. There you go. That's what the watchtower is for. Clear. Oh, there, big boy horde. Hang on a second. Like we have to bring our guys back. Operator. Roger. Into our building. Oh shit. What's the area of effect of this building? Whoa. They're oh they're absolutely destroying me. What the hell? Oh that building, look at the health of that building. But they are reaching them, which is good. How are our guys doing? Okay, they're doing well. Oh, that building needs to be repaired ASAP. Oh, they're climbing up on the building? What? Oh, my lord. Another horde incoming? Are you, are you on steroids? What the hell? Are you crazy? Oh, this is insane. Another one 
They mentioned early on being able to run them over with our car, but I wasn't able to do that, so I don't know if that's a feature already in the game. Oh my god, this is crazy. Okay, these guys actually are taken care of pretty quickly. Okay, we're all still alive. Our ammunition is very low. We need ammo. We need ammo so badly. Monkey zombies. Uh, no, they're infected. Um, they're infected humans. Uh, so they're not really zombies. They're saying they're more like vampires. Because they only come out at night, you know? Some objectives here. Yeah, some of the objectives will just be hidden with my face. End of story. I can't put my face come anywhere else. Um, okay, so I think we're doing okay now. Let's see if we can step out. Receiving. Yeah, we need to go into the question mark buildings if we can. They have a, pos a possibility of getting ammo. Actually, let's go over here. We're on the move. Do you know what? Send all our, all our guys over here so we can get this one. Re uh, um. Oh, it's actually scavenged 100% now. Okay. Oh, what a pity. Operator. No, we didn't find any more weapons in there. What about... Um, Yeah, we're gonna have to. Let's do it. Oh, that entrance is over there. I don't like that at all. Let's go here. Actually, let's Roger. go here, and then the Ready other one action. we can send here. So we should let's put another it. tower here, if possible. So once we have some extra spare guns, oh, are they already reloaded? Reporting. They are all reloaded. Receiving. Oh, excellent. Search done. Yeah, we need to repair this. It's nearly morning. I doubt we have another horde coming in, so we should be alright with repairing that. Search done. Hostiles inbound. Okay, these guys are done. Going there. Yeah, they're far enough away. I don't think we have to worry about them too much. Horde spotted! Ah, you're fine. Slackers, wake up and do your job. Ready for action. Slackers, did she call them slackers? So it's morning now. Excellent. There's a building here with a question mark, so let's see what Waiting we find. Orders. On my way. Waiting orders. Roger. Search done. Chief, we just found an assault rifle. Ooh, this nice. Will come in handy against large hordes. Let's just not waste too much ammo on nothing. No more to find. I totally agree, man. Use awesome. it with caution. Yeah, let's not. Can you use a, a pistol? Now we're ready to build an antenna. Okay. Once it's operational, we'll be ready to receive distant transmissions again and broadcast some invitations ourselves. Now we are ready to build an antenna. Once it's operational, we will be ready to receive distance transmissions and broadcast something ourselves. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, let's do this. Building complete. Okay, so we found an assault rifle. I don't want your man to have the assault rifle here. I want one of my other dudes to take the assault rifle. So let Operator, me see. Waiting orders. Waiting orders. Receiving, reporting. Yeah, I Receiving. don't want him to have the assault rifle. How can I swap him to a gun? Let's do it. Um, pistol. You see that? That's the thing. I find this so weird that you can't assign directly to the squad member. The, the gun you want to assign. Why can't I do that? That makes no sense. Like, so I either have the choice of having him have the weapon that he finds or a melee weapon. Reporting. Reporting. But I want him to have... Um, I want this team to have the assault rifle. But I can't do that. Like, th this is this is really weird. Can I somehow drag it from here? No. Um, what is exchange is select the squad building or vehicle to exchange. No, don't want to exchange. Um, split. 
disband. Okay. So, yeah, uh, there seems to be, unless I'm missing something, there seems to be um, absolutely Operator. no way of assigning a specific weapon to one of you guys, which is, I don't like it. Because now I'm not using my rifle at all. I can't assign that rifle to anybody. Um, okay, anyway, I'm wasting time. So this building is gone now, which means we should be able to... Um, yeah, Let's loot do these without doing the long way around, Operator. which is great. Going there. Waiting orders. We're on the move. So, um, build the antenna. Let me see. Um, 20 metal. We only have 12, so... I don't want to destroy the mall, because the mall is has 900 storage, or 1,500 storage. So, this we want to convert to storage, because storage will become a huge Search issue. Um, from what I read in a lot of the forum posts on Steam, a lot of people have issues with storage, especially if they're living in more rural areas. It's a huge issue, uh, because if you don't have enough buildings to convert, then you're screwed. So what's the benefit of having um, something converted into a shelter? The most basic shelter that will keep the citizens warm and secure at night. So right now, what does shelter mean, though? What does shelter mean? Does it mean, I need, where can I see how much shelter I have and how much shelter I need for, for, for people? Yeah, that tooltip being right over there is, is not helping. Yeah, this. <laughs> yeah, there you go. UI design minus, minus one. It's like, well, that's amazing that you're showing me this, but I would love to read what this is. Um, so we have fuel, we have ammo. I just don't know how much shelter I have and how much shelter I need, so... Now, according to the stats here, it says I have 21 shelter, but I need 41. So does it show me here how many shelters I have? So I have guards 2-2, two, two, scientists 3-3, three, three, scavenger 14, 12 squad antenna unemployed. But how do I know I have 21 shelter? Where does it see that I have 21 shelter? How do I know that? So this one has 11. So I can see the individual one. Living quarters 11. Living quarters um, 30 out of 10. So yeah, we need more living quarters. But why is there no combined stat showing me the living quarter arrangement? Because when I'm... Say you grow like to 2,000 citizens. Surely you're not going to count every single one of your buildings that you have enough living quarters. So there has to be a way of seeing that. It doesn't seem to be, so let's convert this into um, another shelter. And convert this into another shelter as well. So how's our... Operator, waiting orders. Yeah, you go over here, way. you bring things On home, you go over here. On my way. Yeah, but you see, the building shows me the, the, the capacity, obviously. Yeah, because I click on the building. But I want to see an overview. Because like I said, what happens if I have 30 buildings that, that I own? How do I know how much more living quarters do I need? Where is the screen that says, hey guys, you know, you have 30 living quarters, but you have 50 people. Like, that is seriously missing. Unless I'm not seeing it somewhere.
Um, many citizens do not have their own shelter. Well, yeah, but you know, again, if the number there on the top left wouldn't be visible, I wouldn't even know that that was a, that that was an issue. So yeah, we need more information on that. Okay, so you can go here. Actually, let's go to this big boy here. And is there any more books anywhere? And you can go over here, and you can go over here. We're on the move. And then for metal, we probably should destroy another small building because that's quick. Small buildings can be destroyed very quickly. But nobody is working in the moment on this. Oh, because they have to deliver wood. Yeah, we have enough wood. Clear. So it's night time soon. Ready for action. Waiting orders. On my way. Oh no, there's Going still stuff there. for you to find here. Oh shit, let's go home. Infected incoming! And what should we research next? Um, arms production, pistol production. Yeah, let's do that. That would be great. Is there any ammunition construction? Oh, actually. Is that ammunition? Arms production allows you to produce ammunition for firearms. Okay, so in this case, maybe that would be more important. Uh, okay, I'm off for the night. Uh, Gel Lives always. Thank you so much for popping in. Take care, everyone. Have fun. Um, I've watched Game Match play this. Uh, I'm sure many of your questions you can achieve. The squads can search buildings after building and return when fall. Um, yeah, they sometimes return automatically, but sometimes they just don't. Um, I don't know what this is based on. Receiving. So when they go into a building and they're not ending... So what I noticed is when I sent the squad over, say, to this building, and the building doesn't have enough to fill the squad's inventory, yeah? So let's go into this building here. We should be okay. Another one incoming. Ah, we're fine. Okay, we're fine. So what I noticed is when we go to a building where there's not enough loot, Port, yeah? So say there's only three for, for three slots loot, yeah? They will stay there. They will not move. They, they will just stay there until I notice that they actually stuck, yeah? So they will only automatically return home when they're full. So unless you can fill them, they're not going to come back home. So there's there's a couple of things like that. Okay, so let's send these guys out here if we can, and these guys here. Another one incoming. Yeah, that is a small group. Actually, we sent if we send both Another of these actually here, they should take care of these guys if they get frisky. Port, spotted. See, these guys found something one one item. So let's see if they come home. Yeah. So they're 99%, they're 100%. They're finished. You see, they they completed this search in this building, but they only got half of the inventory full. So they stay there. That's it. They're not moving. They're not doing anything. So I have to move them to the next building. There are some infected around. And then when they're full, I'm assuming when they're full, they automatically go home because I think I noticed that before. There are some infected around here. Yeah, so this building is probably empty now, is it? Yeah, so these guys that are here just sit there and do nothing. We're on the waiting orders. Another one incoming! Ooh, that's a big one, so we might actually want to bring those guys home. And stay together. Actually, let's put them here. We're on the move. Ready for action. We're on the move. Ooh, that's not good. They're touched. To nope, tied. they're fine. They're fine. They're fine. I think they're fine. Yeah. 
Okay, excellent. Nobody died. They're a little bit damaged, but that's okay. Sent them home when they're damaged. These guys are fine. Let's bring them home here. And these guys are not hurt either. Roger. There are some infected around here. Um Okay, so what you're saying is basically um I should be queuing up enough orders for them to always have a full inventory. Yeah, okay, so that means you have yeah, okay, you have to do that then I guess. That's actually it makes sense, even if you don't if they wouldn't come back home automatically, it makes sense to tell them what to do, yeah. That is that is actually really good then, yeah. So in this case let's take Ready for action. The guys that are not hurt. And so we go here, then here, then here, and then here. So now they should do all those buildings in a row. But if they're, if they're not full by the end, they will just sit there as well. So I don't like them sitting. I think they always should come back if they have no other orders. They should always, I don't know, blink or something. Something more obvious. Like they found nothing in this building, so they're going here now. And we'll see if they find something there. But that's a good idea, actually, the queue order thing, yeah. Yeah, Jen, um, the funny thing is RimWorld has way more micromanaging. But I, I would like to see some of that RimWorld stuff here for priorities. Okay. Have to go through here. Excellent. These guys are fine again. So let's um, tell them. Let's do the queue system. That was actually that was very clever. Way. Yeah, I should have done that straight up. And let's do this and this and this and this and this. So this whole block here can be done by these ones. Okay, that sounds good. No and I'm assuming they're coming back home then each time. There's nothing left. This is so frustrating that some of the buildings only have the entrance in the back, even though they all have front doors, which makes no sense. So they walk all the way around to get into one building, but then all the other buildings, they come in from the front. Yeah, there is no back entrance here. Like, why is this building entrance in the back if clearly the entrance is in the front? Okay, so let's see what you have. You, you have to heal, so... Yeah, I don't know if I can tell them how to heal. Let me see. Okay, what do we have? Sir, the winter is coming. The days will be shorter. The yeah, no, it's very good, Shubi. You're absolutely right. We have to use the queue more often. Uh, that, that makes absolute sense. Like these guys here, for example. Um, oh, so winter's coming. The days will be shorter and the farms won't produce any more food. We should brace ourselves. Yeah, I didn't even Let's get to do any farms. So these guys had four buildings but only found two pieces of, of stuff. So yeah, I should probably send them home in the end. So this one here, in the end, after they're done, I sent them home. So these guys, we're gonna go here, here. Oh, sorry, here, no, here, 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 here. Search done. And then we're gonna send them home. Okay. Good idea. Reporting. Are they healing at all? Uh, she's not healing. Do we have med? I think we have medical kits here. Yes, Going we do. Clear. So she should. There should be healing. And we. On my way. Where's the other shelter? Oh, the shelters here. They're not finished yet. They're very slow in building those shelters. These guys bring in wood for shelter. Research complete. We have loads of wood in storage. Why are these guys not getting the wood for the shelter? Why are they not prioritizing that? There we go, finally. Are they gonna put the last two pieces of wood in there? Anytime? Anytime? Yeah, he just stands there. So the dude just sits there. I don't know what they're waiting for. I have no idea. There's nothing left. No clue. Search done. Building clear. 
Now these guys still have a queue. I told them to do the whole corner, so they probably will come back. And these are survivors that we added, which we can't control, though. Yeah, why are they not finishing the building? Everything's collected. That's just so weird. Going there. Yeah, so Going he's coming there. back. That's very good. Yeah, thanks for letting me know about this, Shubi. I, d I didn't even realize that. Uh, I thought I didn't need the queue system in the beginning because it's small. We don't do a lot of things right now, you know? But it makes sense. So we don't even chop any more wood either, but we have enough wood, but for some reason they're not finishing this building. We're on the move. Okay. Nobody working on it. So, yeah, he's stuck. That's the problem. He's uh, visually stuck. He's He can't move, so we're no never going to get this building finished, I think. Are we? There's nothing left. Ah, finally. So, uh, unassigning them and reassigning them seems to have worked. That fixed that, which is good. They're stuck again. <laughs> okay. Unassign Stop and working. reassign. Start winding down for some rest. No, of course, now it's nighttime and they're not working. Oh, man. What a suck. Building clear. Okay, very good. These guys are coming home. Operator, These guys are healed up. Very nice. Reporting. Nearly. They're nearly all healed up. How many med kits did they use? Oh, none, actually. That's really good. Um, of course, number one priority is to protect the Guinness making factory. That is on the other end somewhere here. That's not even near me, but yeah, that, that's the number one priority. Um, yeah, I, I wanted to, to play RimWorld anomaly. I bought the DLC, but I, I, I'm new to RimWorld really. I don't, you know, it, I would have, I, I wasn't sure if the anomaly DLC allows for new people in RimWorld to play the DLC because, you know, you're still learning, you still have tutorials, so. I think it should be able to. I think they have ghouls in there though as well, which is something new. But if you're new to RimWorld, everything is new anyway, so it doesn't matter. So let's see. Um, these guys are coming in hot. So we should build another tower, I think, here in this area. Or potentially here so that the towers cover each other. That would probably make sense. Oh, nobody's protecting them. There's loads over there. Let's see if we can Ready send order. these guys. Leave them here because they have four guns. So let's see if we can send the scavengers out here. Somewhere here. There seems to be nobody here. Leave the full gunners right here. And... Oh, I see. They only have uh, visual. Operator, we found something suspicious. This a large piece of building. dry meat here with a piece of rope around it. It's attached to a counterweight. This seems to be a trap to catch something. Maybe humans, maybe animals, or maybe even the infected. Somebody must have set it up not too long ago. Inspect it or leave it? I think we should inspect it. Uh, can you read my comment above RimWorld? Uh, if you like this type of game at all, I would recommend Stranded Alien Dawn. Oh, yeah, I have that as well. That's actually something I also wanted to, to play at some point. I keep forgetting about all those games. You suggest them as well on our Discord, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, I, I definitely play this when I have some room. And then I have some room, and I completely forget about it. Um, yeah, Alien Dawn looked really good as well. Um, inspected, screwed. Try to find out more about it. Um, I think we're okay with the horde here, so... Yeah, that building not being finished is really annoying. Um, and let's make the last building here shelter as well. 
So this one will add six. That means we have 35. This one will add nine shelter, I think. That should be enough, these two, yeah. Okay, actually, we're okay. They're not really bringing any more pain, so... How are we doing here? Yeah, but is it coming over here? I don't think so. Okay, so in this case, send these guys. Can we send these guys in here? No, that's building's too small. There are some infected around here. Um, what about this building? On my way. Infected incoming. Port spotted. Yeah, these ones I leave intentionally there during the night because all four of them have no pistols. Mind. Oh, can you tell me, can you tell me, um, Shubi, do you know if um, I can somehow assign this gun to a specific person in the squad? Because I, the when the, the, the squad that found the gun is um, a squad I don't want to have four weapons, they're for scavenging. But I want this fort team to have that gun, but I cannot assign it to them. It's I, I just can't. It's impossible. Um, I can unassign my guy, uh, my dude, Operator. to not have a weapon by dragging this weapon into storage. But I can't. I can't drag a weapon from storage into in, onto him. So I don't know um, how to utilize that weapon now. Clear. So let's see what's happening here. There are some infected around here. So far, so good, I guess. Um, yeah, we need these guys to be happy, so... We don't want that to fail. We need... Yeah, housing, I needed to do that quicker. Okay, there's some heavy incoming. Here we go. Our building is under attack. No, we're doing okay. No, we're doing fine. Okay, wooden tower needs to be repaired as well in the morning. I can assign a gun to the tower, but that's that's about it. Excellent. These guys are full. Just food? Okay. Fair enough. And the other guys did a full round as well. Very nice. Orders. There are some infected around here. Okay. Going there. Okay. Infected incoming. You do this. You do this. We're on the move. No, I pressed on shift. Okay. Let's do it. Let's see what 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 is here. No more to find. Reporting. Search done. Adaptation done. Excellent. So, maybe this question mark belongs to these buildings here. Roger. Could be. Okay, why can I not do... Okay, I can do shift orders. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So these guys are going there. So now these guys I can put on... On my way. Yeah, that, that actually, oh, that's such a game changer, like doing all the queue up. I saw that command there, but I was like, why would I want to queue them up? Yeah, makes sense. Okay, they have to walk weird ways. Okay. What are you doing? Operator. 
You're not finding anything here. Okay. Okay, they're not as bad in the mood anymore. We we actually now have um, building space, I think. It would be still nice to get a total overview of how many buildings we need and how many we have. Because I have to click on each individual That's building to see if they have capacity for living. No more to find. Yeah, so we have six extra spares and then this one will be a nice extra spare. There we go. We need to repair this. Um, Ready for action. Receiving. Okay, you are still on your way. Very good. Operator. Nice. Okay, so um, <coughs> no more to find. Uh, sent your squad to your warehouse or HQ with the guns then use the exchange ui button in the squad window then click on the building where the weapons are then try oh nice oh the ex i thought the exchange button was to swap out a squad from two buildings or, or squad members sorry exchange that Clear. sounded more like exchange exchanging squad members <gasps> these guys found ammunition no more to find. oh i love it that is actually awesome that is brilliant so these guys here uh, these guys here building no. work done. these guys cancel all their orders and bring them home so we go into the building where we want the, the weapon attached okay yeah I'm trying to get into ammo making I'm researching the oh it's already done researching yeah um, there you go I, I was researching that to produce ammunition um, There's nothing left. So let me see. If I press this now and say exchange, select squad building or vehicle for exchange, and I guess I click on this guy. Um, okay, the squad, I guess. I don't get this, but building. Okay. And now I can do this. Oh, that is brilliant. Thank you so much. That is awesome. And then it's a really weird way of doing it because you would think you could just click on this. Um, Receiving. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, but at least Receiving. that works. Okay, this, this is this is good. Thank you so much. That is awesome. That helps a lot because I wanted him to have the big gun. Okay, let them do their own thing. And are they reloading over time when they're in the base? adapted and can they reload or do they only reload when they're empty mm, okay you guys go here okay good you have your orders ready for action you guys have your orders as well receiving and you guys are nearly full as well. Very good. Yeah, let's go and uh, queue up the build three fields. How we how do we do that? Um, field. We need two tools and four wood. We have that. And the cookhouse is point eight and point three. So, I guess a cookhouse is a building we assign. Is it? This one would be great, but way too much wood. That would cost us way too much wood. So we should probably do a small building first. Maybe this one, 26 wood, 10 iron. Yeah, that would look good. Nice. Make that the cookhouse. And... No more to find. I know it's winter time, so... We're not going to be do doing much else, but what we should do is probably destroy this. Research on working. Start winding down. For destroy the this and destroy this and destroy this. Um, but it's getting nighttime now, so they're all going home. Ready 
Receiving. Everybody healed up. Reporting. Receiving. Excellent. She's back to health as well. Okay. Yeah, if I, oh, if I would have figured that out early on with the queuing up. Oh shit, hang on. That's not good. They will shoot at them, but I don't think they're strong enough. Building clear. Oh, go home. Go home. Yeah, go home. Hostiles oh. inbound. I should have probably told them to hold their fire. Yeah, that's not good. They have... To... No, no, what am I doing? Shit, I clicked on somebody else. Um, yeah, you know what? Let's bring these guys in here. Into this building. Or just bring them here. Operator going there. Come on, run, 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 run. We're under attack! Oh, we lost one already. Oh no, we lost them. We lost them. Shit. Sir, we've encountered a group of people willing to join us. Going there. Um, except. Send them in. Oh my God! Why can't you just walk into the building? There must be hundreds of them. I have a bad feeling about this. Ready. Okay. Get ready to defend the zone. This house is infected. Where's the hundreds? I don't see anybody. You're, you're exaggerating. Oh wow. Yeah, we survived that. Just about. Okay, let's pick up the loot here. Oh, let's empty everything first. Oh my lord, Receiving. that was terrible. Okay, you can you continue there. later. That was awful. And this one should be converted into... Now these guys, I'm gonna send them over here just to see if we can talk to these guys and get them into our team. And um, what city did I choose? Dublin. Um, we are at the south side of the Liffey in, in, in the town at Stephen's Green. Yeah, we need to make a new squad. Oh, we can't. There's no workers available. Holy shit. Oh, that's that's hardcore. Maybe we should cancel this. Yeah, we have one person left. So can we talk to these guys? <laughs> Hans Lane, Jesus, it's crazy. Receiving. Um. Okay. Going there. Oh my God, no. Going there. Infected incoming. Yeah, I think that's it. I think we're gonna die now. We're under attack. Oh my god! And there's nobody in this in this building, is there? Is the tower not shooting? Why is the tower not shooting? Okay, they're ping-ponging between the two buildings, which is good. So they can't really make their mind up. And we have loads of health left on the building as well, which is great. 
So it seems that an abandoned building doesn't have a health bar. So you can't destroy it. So we're better off standing in an abandoned building. I think for fighting. Oh shit. Hostiles inbound. They still can kick the door in and kill us, but um, oh shit, this is this is gonna be rough. The yeah, that's it. Death. Death becomes us. Oh my god! It's just not stopping. Ready for action. Roger. Yeah, we need to get these guys in there because they're nearly dead. And we need to replenish them as well. kill it wow okay we're so screwed now with um, ammunition that was something else uh, no I didn't choose the Guinness factory I'm on the other side of the town um, okay so the downside of the abandoned building is they can walk right in okay yeah well and then i'm lucky i survived that long actually wow um so why was nobody fighting here that's really disappointing maybe because they didn't have any ammunition no current ammo left yeah they should have been shooting at people Morning, everybody. boss it's been a rough night something must have made the infected extremely bloodthirsty if more and more come our chances of survival will be really low We'll get over this. We have to. We're all that's left of humanity. Okay, so uh, these guys, I don't know what they're doing. They should join us, I guess. Oh, they need their neutral group. Maybe they join us. I don't know. Okay. Um, Receiving. Receiving. We have, we have ammunition, so they should be reloading, I guess, at some point. We have ammunition right here. Sir. The people have reported hearing a lot of noises coming from underground. They're afraid that it could be infected moving through the sewers and tunnels. We need to bolster our defenses and be ready to attack from within, too. We'll be ready. So how are we going to bolster our defenses? Um... Yeah, so we have three people working on this. 10, 12, okay. Do you know what? Um, can we pause this? Yeah, let's put zero people on that and put zero people on that and do one building at a time and then we can repair this building. Okay, good repair quicker the more people are on it and what else can we do let me see arms factory that costs produce weapons and ammunition but the problem is that we don't have any defenses really beyond this tower so we need more towers i guess um well not we need more weapons and ammunition big weapons Oh, I don't know. I have no idea. Um, maybe barbed wire? So, 
if we have we have four metals, so if we build barbed wire I place many, okay. So how do we control control left click? Um, don't snap, sorry. So we could do something like this. And then do something like this. It will protect us from that side, I guess. I don't know. How much metal is that? No clue. Yeah, we don't have enough people right now because we're repairing this building, which is nearly done. There we go, it's done. So now we should have enough people left here. Should Ready get the action. car home. Ready for action, operator. Receiving. Oh, this is a terrible squad. But Roger. Let's do it. Um, let me see. Let me drive over here. We're on the move. Let's do it. Okay, so they're completing this. There's still enough metal there. We're gonna get some resources Building from that. Clear. We're running out of resources. No more to find. Okay, this building is nearly done. Well, it should be done. It says 100%. Excellent. Let's get this one next. And this one as well. Oh, the guys are finished. They're not finished. I told them to go into multiple buildings. What? Let's do it. Okay, we're doing okay for the moment. Anyway, so Another one oh, let's, let's go and pick that stuff up. Oh, we can't. Crap. We have no guns. We're losing this now because we have no, we have no ammunition. So I know I I, I could have looted faster. Another one incoming. I could put some basic defenses up. Oh, this is actually awesome. They get hurt walking through that or slowed down. That is amazing. And unlike Seven Days to Die, these guys don't have an engineering degree, so they actually walk right into the... Um... Oh, that is awesome! Imagine that! People without an engineering degree. Oh, shit! I didn't look after my peeps. I didn't look after my peeps. Oh, they're dead. And they're dead. And they're dead. 
and the dead. <laughs> oh my god! I didn't realize that they were in danger. Oh man. Going there. Reporting. That is terrible. There are some infected around here. Yeah, they're, they're, that's it. Now we're dead. You likely, you likely, your zombies was engineering degrees. Yeah, that was a complete mess. Um, I like, I like I said, I didn't play this before the stream. I only Another played for incoming. about ten minutes to just see, you know, what it's like. But I really like, um, I really like the idea of it so far. I think. I did so much wrong that I can't really judge how good and well balanced the game is. I, I wouldn't know because I did way too many things wrong. Um, what I don't understand is that they have ammunition crates here, but they don't seem to reload their weapons. I, I don't know why. I have no idea. Why are they not reloading their weapons? Which building? Oh, they're actually in this building. Okay. They're breaking into our building. Can we shoot at them now? The infected are pillaging a building. Yeah. Yeah, these zombies are really hard to hit here because I have no idea how to get to them. Which building they're attacking? We're empty. So it takes them very long to reload their weapons, even though there's ammunition. I wonder why that is. I mean, shouldn't they be already reloaded? Uh, no one like, I mean, look, 1.5 ammo crates. Why are they not reloading? What? What? Who's stopping them? Is there somebody in there? Go, sorry. I need to see a pass. Ready for action. I, I can't get you your ammunition. I need to see a pass. There are some infected around here. Like, why are they not reloading? Do we have to do it manually? Is that it? Oh my god, don't tell me I have to do it manually. That's just awful. That is terrible. Because I didn't have to do it manually earlier. Yeah, so we're out of ammunition now, officially. Okay. Okay, I think what I would research first is... Never mind the big antenna. Yeah, I would research first the chemical station and then the armor factor factory. So the armor factory actually doesn't cost a lot of resources, it seems. So we just have to convert a building. Oh, okay, sorry. It starts costing resources once we want to convert a building into it. So this building is nice and small. Another so let's make that a weapon in factory. Um, so I probably would do that very early in the game and I would start demolishing right away multiple buildings. So uh, first things is make enough shelter while we loot. And then as we loot, we get very, very quickly, we, we fill up our storage. Yeah, these guys are all out now as well. Yeah, so I, I would do definitely several things completely different. So now that I know about the housing and them getting dissatisfied because... Um, oh, actually new citizens randomly arrive? Oh, that's pretty cool. Um, I would definitely get this sorted here straight away much quicker than I thought because I didn't realize that that was not just an action for us to do but that we actually needed the living room Operator, I thought they were all living in the headquarters I've never seen such a big storm the sky's so dark the infected might be able to walk in the clouds shadow during the day wow we need to be vigilant now we have daytime hordes oh wow That's a good point. let's stay on guard that is oh no oh no Um, select multiple. How to control select? Ready for action. We're on the move. Construction ready. They're trying to get inside. They're breaking into 
Fire They're not building. shooting at them. Why why are these guys not shooting? Man, now we have daytime issues as well. And I also didn't realize that they assign a set number of employees to this instead of queuing up the building. So I thought we would have all the people who can work working on the same building, then go to the next, then go to the next. But it seems that instead they use up your employment resources. So I would designate a lot of the stuff much um, um, better uh, uh, if, I, if I play this again I will do it much differently so can we actually still walk through that I wonder so if I go here can I walk through this without problems oh that's awesome I don't get hurt at all that is sweet. So, Let's do it. yeah, I, I would do that completely different. Ready for action. Roger. Oh shit, they're dogs. What? Oh my god. Yeah, earlier on they reloaded man uh, automatically, so I don't know why all of a sudden I needed to reload manually. I, I don't know. Yeah, they're all gonna die now, so everybody's gonna die now. <laughs> and my workers are like... <laughs> can we tell them all just to go home? Can, can we just tell them all not to work? Probably. I think we can tell all the builders not to build to go to zero. And zero scavengers, so we sent them all home. Zero scientists. They're slowly munching away on our quad, yeah. Oh, we have no ammunition left at all whatsoever. There are some this is so awesome. Ready for action. Yeah, she looks like good uh, army material. Going there. Going there. Waiting orders. Roger. Scientist. Max. The door won't hold much longer. Oh, why can I not reassign um, my scientists? <gasps> the structure was ruined. What? No way. We're missing resources. I can't repair. Yeah, that's it. We're pretty much done. So. That, that was exciting enough, I think. Yeah, they're gonna climb up on this wall. They're destroying this house slowly. Yeah. So they destroyed this house. Oh, man. And then they're gonna come for us. So, yeah, building, building walls and um, these type of things, the like, straight away, is probably longer. something I would, I would do um, straight up from the beginning to build defenses. And uh, straight away working on ammunition as well. Oh man. The door won't hold much longer. They're breaking into our building. Yeah, there's nothing more um, we can do. Our building's under attack. So let's actually get our uh, dudes out and see what happens when they die off. They're coming! We're losing men! 
see. I want to see what happens when they all die. It's, it will be over then, I guess. Roger. On my way. It's winter now, anyway. So. On my way. Reporting. Ready for action. Waiting orders. Anyway, I'm gonna leave this here because that's a pretty much a lost cause now. So um, there's definitely a lot of things I would do differently. Um, but I think for a very first time playing this game, I had a lot of fun, even though I got my ass kicked. Um, especially once uh, the guys showed me more of the techniques to do, like the queuing up uh, of the orders, you know, because I don't play these games very often. So I think a lot of people who play these games often go like, oh, yeah, yeah, you know, that makes sense. You do this, this and this and, um, you know, priorities and all that are probably very similar between a lot of those games. And yeah, maybe we could have called for help as well when, if we built the antenna. How much work was the antenna? Um, it was 20, so it was 20 steel, yeah. So we would need to destroy quite a couple of buildings. And we could have just built it. We can't build it on top of a building, I guess. But we could have built it right here, I guess. And then um, queue up some barriers here. Because the location is actually not bad. We got a lot of open room here. We could have had three towers here for defense. Close everything off on this side. Now this is was a bit of a pain in the ass that the zombies could get into the courtyard here. That was terrible. So it would have been probably good to have um, this, like say this building destroyed and then have a tower here. That probably would have helped. But um, overall, yeah. Um, I actually had a good time with it. Yeah, so I mean this was a one-off stream anyway first um, to see you know What the game is all about and to showcase it to other people and hopefully they look at it and go well I can do better so I get this for myself. There you go. You do you do better. You will probably do most likely better and um, I'm assuming there will be eventually Maps and locations of maps where people go. Oh, this is the best starting area because you have like a natural defensive wall behind you You know of mountains and in the front you can block it off to funnel them all in because that would be obviously is the best way of playing these games when you can funnel your enemies um, Exactly where you want them to go and um, that's obviously what you want to do But yeah, anyway, so um, fireworks. Sorry, you just joined at the end um, the woman who kept advising you gave bad advice. Well, I think they just give you the tutorial things that you get to know the game, basically. So you can play that without the tutorial mission. When you, If you start a new game, you can, you can um, report a bug. Name of the error. Reproduction step. There you go. <laughs> um, does it snow a lot in Dublin in winter? No, not as much actually. Uh, it snows more in February, Jan like actually January, yeah, February, uh, end of February, beginning of March, we sometimes get really heavy snow days. But I had a lot of fun with this game though. I definitely would say try it out, you know, um, in regards to pricing and all that, that's up to you, you know, if you find a game worth it. But I think you can have a lot of fun with this game in early access already. And the things that bothered me in the beginning actually would have been solved by me queuing up commands with my uh, guys. And some things are just not as obvious, like um, calling something exchange is a bit weird Operator. that, I mean, it makes sense once you once you use that feature. but. For example, figuring out how to equip a squad with different weapons. That exchange thing made no sense to me. Exchange to me, especially when it says select the building or vehicle for exchange, it means to me that is it usually used that for exchanging people, members of groups. So uh, I, I didn't think for a second that that had anything to do with, oh, I click on the building with the storage and now I can drag and drop stuff onto them and assign this weapon to this guy and never would have dawned on me in a million years that that is how it worked 
Um, so thanks for pointing that out and uh, doing that. So because I would, for example, in the beginning, not give given everybody a gun, but just two people guns, two people melee. That should be enough for the scavenging groups. They don't even need guns, I would say. Um, but in the night, when you have hordes, you want to have people with all guns that actually deal with the hordes, of course, you know. Um, and then look at ammunition straight away as well. That round building looks very interesting. Anyway, so um, thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you want to know what this game is about, go check it out on Steam. It's um, available right there. It's called Infection Free Zone, and um, it's it's a lot of fun so far. Absolutely. Anyway, I'm gonna leave here. Thank you so much. I see you guys tomorrow. And until then, have a good night and stay safe. Bye bye. Oh, and please leave a like on the way out if you weren't too annoyed with my dumb decisions. <laughs> good night. Bye bye. <laughs>